Okay, Kohalayum, Yahawo, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rukakwadash. My name is Lamadio. I'm going to give double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect. So, the premise of this video is going to be on denying, denying yourself. Now, when we speak of denying yourself, or when the scripture speaks of denying yourself, what it's referencing to is a person no longer making himself or herself the first priority. And when you come into the faith, your first priority is serving the Lord. And everything else comes second. But the Lord is um, the main priority. So that includes putting put it to the side your fleshly lust and focus on the most high. Putting aside your family at time, well, putting not making your family your first priority, not making your kids your first priority, but in this world, your family, your kids is your first priority. But the scriptures speak differently. The first priority is the Most High, and the Lord says He's a, He's a jealous power. And um, you make something your first priority, you could end up losing it. So that's that's what we mean on denying yourself. You not making yourself the main priority. That even goes to the brotherhood. You know, at times. A brother may be more in need of something than you do. So you may make that brother the a more a more of a priority than you. You know? So let's do this. I wanna start this off with um Matthew sixteen. And beginning at verse 21. Now it says, From that time forth began Yahweh Shah to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, there shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of the Most High, but, the, but those things that be of men. Now verse 24. Then said Yahusha unto his disciple, the disciples, excuse me. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So, you know, taking up the cross is also going through the same burdens that Yahusha had went through. And enduring to the end. And denying yourself for the kingdom. You know, you, you're rejecting yourself to serve the Lord. You know, you're no longer becoming um, selfish. You become selfless. And your attention is to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So that's what it means to deny yourself. And it speaks about following Yahweh Shah. And we follow Yahweh Shah by following the words of Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah come in the volume of the book. Now it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. 
and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. That's a so the person that will lose his life for the sake of the Lord, that's a person denying himself. Now it says, For what is a man for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange of his soul? So everything we see in today's world is all temporary. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to destroy everything, you know. And you want to be found on the right hand side of the Most High. And some of the things, well, the main thing to do to receive that mercy is to deny yourself. And that's the hardest part. Find your lust. You know, you you may be always working. You may be short of time throughout the week. But when you do get that time, you don't use that time um, to serve the flesh and make that your main priority. You focus on you focus on the Lord. Oh, give me one second. Okay, slide here. Now, now let's go to um First Corinthians. Oh, it's like I got something here, Matthew. Let's go to Matthew first. Uh, Matthew 6, I start at 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What should we eat? Or what should we drink? Or wherewith thought should we be clothed? For, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Um... Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. That's denying yourself. You're seeking the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, right? And all these things should be added on to you. So you focus on serving the Lord, you know, make an assessment, trying to do right with the Lord. And it says, take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow should take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians 6. And, um, to like you. Now, um, 6 and 15. Uh, know ye not that your bodies are the temple of Yahweh Shah? Shall I then take the members of Yahweh Shah and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined unto a harlot is one body? For two save he should be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Um, give me one second. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Now it says this, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? So we no longer belong unto ourselves. We belong to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And, you know, or rather shall I say Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah purchased us through his blood. So now we're servants underneath Yahweh Shah. And 
our service is to do the will of the Lord, not our will. So now let's go to Matthew 10. And I'm going to start at um, 36. And a man foe should be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that take not and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. So the Lord said, You put your family, it says father, mother, and even mention on your children, son and daughter. If you put that before him, you're not worthy of him. Every like um Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shop comes before everything, you know, including yourself. Um let's go down like your second verse 39 he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it now for john 2 and 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world, the, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. So the reason I put up, pull this scripture out is because the world teach you to put yourself first. That's why you have to strip that away because the truth teach you to put the Lord first. You know, you're no longer number one. But the world teach that you're number one. And that goes into the pride of life. You know, only, only serving yourself, making yourself the, your main priority. You know, talking about your long-term goals, short-term, short-term goals. And when people speak that way, that's, that's boasting. The Most High see that as pride, because you don't know what the Most High have in store for you. So, you know, this that's what brings me to the this next scripture, Proverbs twenty seven. Boast not thy, boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. But the world teach you, you know, it's all about you, build up your life. You know, you only got one life to live. No, the scripture said, "Both not of thy it said, both not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what they may bring forth." That's all pride. You know, you live to serve the Lord. That's it. You don't live to serve yourself because you go, you go, you go wake up one morning and die in a car accident, and the Most High send you, you know, to the spiritual world. You don't know what the, what the next day may bring. That's why you live to serve the Lord. And when you do the right thing, the Lord will prolong your life. Now it says, Let another man praise thee and not thy own mouth, a stranger and not thy own lips. Because, you know, a lot of, a lot of you know, people in the world, they got their head up their ass. They think everything circles around them. They self-centered. Now I'll close with James 4. Now, James 4 and 13. Go to now ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. That's, 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 that's the mind frame of the world. Now it says, whereas you know not what should be on the morrow, for what is your life is even as a vapor, that appear for, for a little time. Um, that's talking about your spirit. And then it vanish away. Now it says. 
for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. You know, and you'll understand that concept, concept more when you begin to put the Lord first. But people that's into themselves, they don't understand this concept. Now, verse 16. But now ye rejoice in your boasting. All such, rejo all such rejoicing is evil. That's pride. So, you know, that's pretty much covered up this topic. You know, I hit all the scriptures I wanted to hit. Um, Lord willing, this video is edifying. And I'm going to say, call I am Yahweh. Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rokakwadash, Salawam.